Greetings once again. Thank you for joining me again for this particular episode. So when I look at this today, I'm going to talk about. I mean, it's a reflection, and this reflection is based on the recent engagement that I had. Kabarak University, one of the universities that is offering pharmacy in Kenya, had their graduation ceremony for the second cohort of graduates taking bachelor of pharmacy, and I was invited to speak to them and share perspective around the theme seizing opportunities in rapidly evolving world, and we all know. The world is rapidly changing. There are so many new trends that are coming up, new emerging needs in our practice. And there's also a need for us to be adopt, uh, actually kind of adopt, ad adaptive and re resilient in terms of how do we tra change to these dynamic trends? How do we embrace what's coming and how do we use whatever is available within our scope to ensure that we're able to form, transform and actually inform the future of our care practices and our behaviors as individuals? So when I look at that kind of a conversation, one of the key things that came to me was the fact that one, we need to understand where are we at the moment? Why would we consider that we are in a rapidly changing environment? Because one, automatic posting, let's say for example, for the pharmacies have been gone, and unemployment is becoming a problem not only in Kenya, not only in Africa, but a global concern because we have a higher population of the young people who are looking for jobs and coming into the job market. But as these people are coming into the job market, there are not as many opportunities that are being created. There are not as many new avenues for the meaningful employment that are coming up. So there's need to see what opportunities are there and how do we create more of them. So it's a rapidly changing world, that's for a fact. Things are changing, COVID, now we're going digital health, we are in self-care, every dynamic of healthcare practice. So when we understand that, then with that graduating class, what happens is when you graduate from school, you're transitioning into the world of work. But the world of work doesn't have jobs for you. So what do you do? And how do you get those opportunities? And that is where the theme was critical in the sense that we are seizing in opportunities in a rapidly evolving world. And to seize the opportunity, you have to understand you're rapidly evolving world. And the best way to be able to seize the opportunities in a rapidly evolving world is one, to understand what are the rapid changes. Knowing the, the changes are critical because if you know of an emerging trend, an emerging area of work that is available for you, then you're able to actually position yourself strategically to get into that space. When you look at current media and current conversation, especially in the global corporate world, is around the prospects of in, in technology, prospects of digital solutions, data science and all that. With these emerging trends, they definitely need someone, but data science itself is not key thing. It's not a solution that we need. And actually, I remember when you go to the spark.co.ke, there's a blog that I manage on that case. I did an article on the fourth industrial revolution. And I noticed that there are some of the areas that are not the hidden secrets and hidden gems within the fourth industrial revolution. We all talk about technology, which is amazing. And I love technology and I believe technology has a solution for most of our problems. But technology is not the solution. Technology is about the information we can actually harness from technology, synthesize using technology, and generate insights to implement interventions. So the key thing is about the data, that is the knowledge, and the information that is going to be used. So for you to be useful within the fourth industrial revolution, which is where we are getting into now, when you're able to, one, either generate the knowledge and the get data, collect data, that is one bit. If you're not able to develop solutions to collect the data or to collect the data by yourself, you need to be able to synthesize that data to make generate concrete information from it so that it can be applied in a particular intervention. That is critical for you. If not, then you need to be able to apply the generated and synthesized information and find application, finding use for that information. So the first thing for you in seizing opportunities in a rapidly evolving world is one, get to understand what are the ongoing conversations, what are the changes. When you're in an evolving world, there's change, and that change is what you need to know, what it is. And then once you know what that change is, you're able to position yourself strategically to make value and actually deliver on it as you grow in your prior career. Once that is the case, then the other big thing about education is when you're graduating from school, you think, well, it's the, done, the end of my education program. That is the end, the end of your basic education from a graduate program. But learning now starts because education is about the academic structure that guided learning. Now, in the next phase of your life as a career student, as is a lifelong learner, you need to learn. Learning is looking at what information do I need, how do I apply it, and how do I continue improving. And learning, learning, and relearning over time so that you be a better person, being able to respond to changes and being able to be informed on what trends are there. So that is the start of your learning point. That is one key thing that as a young graduate, you need to understand that learning never stops. Learning 
continues and actually after education after graduation that is the point that you now learn in the market and you're learning from a point of application and synthesizing new information to inform the future of your practice and once those are key then you've understood the initial prince concepts and understanding how you need to seize those opportunities then how then do you make it past the schooling program and that is where i had actually only three key drivers and i think these three, these three drivers are important for us you can only aspire to achieve as much as you can envision and you can only envision what is possible and what you've seen other people do probably in the industry and also by cross-pollinating your ideas with others so that you're able to see what prospects are there what challenges are there how do we make a better fit and actually get the best solution for the next frontier in terms of what i want to pursue and that is key for you so as a young professional get to expose yourself by engaging in networks that are of value to you the network that will give you prospects and opportunities by knowing what already then exists and on that account then under the culture health and social innovation we have the youth voices network which is basically a network of young professionals and our main aim is to mentor people offer internship and fellowship opportunities and facilitate networking so that we're able to know what are the new frontiers in our pursuit of uhc and how can young people be engaged in building projects that are going to be offered in that program if you have an interest please reach out to us at reculture info.reculture at gmail.com we'll be able to get back to you and see how you can join us and be part of the network other than that network the other bit that will be critical is the africa pharmaceutical network you also reach out to us on african pharma network at gmail.com we'll see which one is most suited for you if you're a pharmacist the african pharma network will be more value but can also be both of them depending on what your interest areas are then we'll see how that works so be exposed to networks that are of value to you after being exposed to networks that are of value to you the other key thing is we are moving from a competitive landscape from an individual competition but rather to a collaborative environment and even when you look at the advancement in technology as i started from a point of technology and the prospects of technology we see even companies are moving now to metaverse and all that it's about an ecosystem ecosystem is around collaboration bringing different pieces together so that we can have the best solution and that best solution is aggregation of what other technologies can do individually to what they can do jointly together and that is where you see for example when you talk about supply chain solutions and all that we're talking about digital twinning can we model the pharmaceutical supply chain pathway from a technological standpoint and see what are the drivers what are the players how do we optimize each of them so that they all work together to deliver the ultimate outcome that is the same way that is going to work in a corporate world you are a pharmacy somebody is a data scientist somebody is a software engineer somebody is a medical doctor bio biopharmaceutical biochemist if we and every of us have a role to play so the best way we are going to achieve our success and actually seize opportunities in the evolve rapidly evolving world is by collaborating strategically by knowing i need this and this is the person who can give it are we willing to come together to create synergies create an ecosystem and that is one we're doing actually within the african pharmaceutical network space is can we create synergies and create an ecosystem where different players can come in and when the different players come in we have a web we have a network every resource that anybody needs is available within that space because somebody has insights you don't have somebody has access to resources you don't have then we will come together and make that feature a common one for all of us so other than exposing yourself collaborate and once you collaborate you're able to see more and keep growing in that space then beyond the collaboration bit and beyond looking at how you expose yourself to opportunities you have to put in the work putting in the work is about knowing what do i need to do where do i need to do it and how do i do that work so that you'll be able to gain the skills get the skills do the work collaborate with others and let's move towards that common future as we envision it we can able to be able to get there don't stop because if you stop you'll never get the opportunities and i think that is critical for us to understand and most importantly in terms of reflection from all those the other guests that we had in the conversation one we are moving more towards sub specialization so you need to find the what niche area do i have and one of the key things in one of the videos that i mentioned at one point was you might not graduate with a clear idea of where you want to go but if you expose yourself enough to learn what other prospects are there you can make your mind on what particular pathway do i want to pursue and how do i want to go about it and that is one thing that i would urge you to do get to see what opportunities are there learn about them specialize and be the best that you can be in that space and reach out unless you seek you'll never get what you need 
unless you knock the door shall never be open and that is one thing that we all have to acknowledge that not every one of us has everything that we need but somebody somewhere has what you need when you need it so unless you ask you'll never get it so let's believe that it's a world of possibilities there are opportunities available to be seized and it's about you being ideally suited and actually at the right place at the right time to capture that opportunity and finally it's a rapidly changing world so many pressures so many stressors what you can do for yourself the best thing you can do as a great investment before you even do all that i've shared in this video take care of yourself we you need you alive to be able to achieve all that you wish for you need you at your best functioning capability to do all that you're capable to be able to be able to do it and you're capable of doing and the changes that we hope in the world can only be done when you're in your best self so take care of yourself as a young pharmacist do that which you need to do and let's move towards a common future together thank you so much and let's keep engaging as much as we can if you have any concern and you enjoy such kind of videos subscribe to the channel share with your friends let's have the conversation and let's keep it going as much as we need to thank you so much and have a good one